Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We're going to make shoe fly pie. It is popular in southern United States, although it seems to have originated in Pennsylvania. Usually made with molasses, the inside is jelly-like, sandwiched between a crispy top and bottom. Supposedly flies can't resist it, and neither will you. Step 1. You will need the following ingredients to serve 8 to 12 people. For the crust, 280 grams of flour, 65 grams of ground almonds, 240 grams of cold butter cut into small cubes, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of brown sugar, 8 to 10 tablespoons of iced water, and some extra flour. For the filling, 240 milliliters of light molasses or maple syrup, 60 milliliters of hot water, two eggs beaten, one teaspoon of cinnamon powder, and one teaspoon of baking soda. For the crumble, 140 grams of flour, 100 grams of brown sugar, and 60 grams of butter. Here is a quick list of the ingredients. You will also need the following utensils. A mixer with a flat beater attachment, a rolling pin, some cling film, a pie pan, two bowls, a whisk, a spoon, and a small knife. Step 2. Make the crust. Begin by putting the flour, almonds, salt, and the sugar into the mixer. Mix it on low until combined. While still mixing, add the cold butter. Now wait until the mixture resembles coarse salt, but still with pieces of butter visible. Then add 8 to 10 tablespoons of iced water. Only allow it to mix until you see the dough begin to bind together. As we need to keep the dough flaky, do not overwork it. As soon as you see the dough cling together, stop the mixer. Scrape off any dough from the beater attachment. Roll it into a ball and remove. Step 3. Refrigerate the dough. Place the dough on your work table and flatten it into a disc. Now wrap it with the cling film and put it into the fridge for a minimum of 30 minutes to chill. Step 4. Roll out the dough. Now that the dough has chilled, sprinkle some flour onto the work area. And place the cold dough in the center. Sprinkle some more flour over the dough and the rolling pin. Slowly roll the dough until it reaches the desirable size a little larger than the pan, about one half a centimeter thick. Roughly measure the size of the dough with the pie pan. Step five, place in the pastry case. Carefully wrap the dough around the rolling pin, which will help remove the dough from the table without tearing it. and gently place it over the pie pan. Then using your fingers, mold it into the pan's shape with the dough overhanging. Press it into the bottom of the pan and around the edges. Now, with the small knife, cut off most of the excess dough, but leave roughly half a centimeter above the edge of the pan to give it a nice finish. Now using your fingers, pinch the dough into small ridges and place it into the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes to chill. This will stop it shrinking when it is baked. Step 6. Make the crumble. Add the flour, the sugar, and the butter into the mixer.
and combine until the ingredients have reached a consistency of coarse salt. Remove the bowl from the mixer and transfer it into another bowl. Step 7. Preheat the oven. Set the oven to 180 degrees centigrade or gas mark 4. Step 8. Make the filling. Add the molasses or syrup into a bowl. Then add the water, the eggs, the cinnamon, and the baking soda, and whisk well to combine. Step 9. Fill the pan. Sprinkle half of the crumbled mixture over the bottom of the pastry. Now pour over the syrup mixture and sprinkle the rest of the crumble mixture on top of the syrup. Step 10. Bake. Place the pie into the center of the preheated oven and bake for 25 to 30 minutes. Then remove it from the oven. Step 11. Serve. Allow it to cool before cutting and serving. This pie will really be the crowning glory to finish off any good meal. And that's how to make shoe fly pie. Enjoy!